just make them remember you This one's for all my girls My girls who woman up, woman up Woman up, woman up Woman up, woman up Woman up, woman up Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Great job to everyone who participated in hosting the 2024 Bulldog Spectacular. It was an amazing Saturday here at BHS. Congrats to everyone in the choir department and everyone from Parent Voice who helped put on the tremendous day of show choir competition. Today is Wednesday, March 13th. I'm Eli Balbach. And I'm Christian Roach, and here's what's going on at BHS. Congratulations to the entire BCSC.TV, Extended Play, and BHS TV crews for representing Brownsburg at this year's IASB competition at Butler University. The Indiana Association of Student Broadcasters Awards recognized the best in high school broadcasting across the state as BHS had multiple students walk across the stage and win awards against over 50 other schools from the entire state. The team of Christian Roach, Eli Balbach, Brady Morse, and Alex Folk won the state championship in best sports program. Nella Catalino placed second in the state for her music video, which is one of the most inner categories in the contest. Christian Roach finished second in sound design. Rose Cruzan placed second in the state in vodcast, and Clara Toyn finished second in corporate video. Keegan Fudge placed third in video copywriting, with Clara Toyn earning honorable mention as well. Emma West, Haley Stewart, Rose Cruzan, Eli Balbach, and Brady Morse all earned honorable mention for others. For BCSC TV, the extended play team earned second place in their live volleyball broadcast third place for their live football broadcast, and honorable mention for their live coverage of Into the Woods. Congratulations to our entire BHS TV, BCSC TV, and extended play crews for their exceptional turnout at the annual conference and awards. Congratulations are also in order for the Brownsburg Color Guard as they competed at the IHS CGA State Finals on Saturday and were named state champions in their class. Along with that, the Brownsburg Cadet Guard earned their first gold rating of the season in their final event. Congratulations to all of our members of the Brownsburg Color Guard. And congratulations to our speech and debate team as they had multiple students placed in the ISSDA State Speech Tournament. BHS students who competed in the competition included Lorelai Olas, Jackson Luce, who finished in the, as a quarterfinalist in Original Oratory, Ahan Bajpai finished as a quarterfinalist in Humorous Interpretation, Zanai Lewis finished as a quarterfinalist in Poetry Interpretation, and Yuki Lee, who won as semifinalist in Original Performance. Congrats again to our speech and debate team. British Club will have their next meeting Thursday, March 14th in Madame Condon's room B1410 from 3 to 3.45 p.m. They'll read a short French story together and make a comic strip about the story. All levels of French students will be able to complete this activity. They hope to see you there. Students, the Brownsburg Student Jobs page is live and features job postings from the local businesses around the community. If you're looking for a job near or in the Brownsburg area, be sure to visit brownsburg.k12.in.us slash student dash jobs. Another job was posted this past week. If you missed the chance at lunch to sign up to donate blood on Thursday, March 21st, you aren't too late. If you're at least 16 years old, scan the QR code to schedule an appointment and help save lives. Any student who is 16 years old must have a signed parental consent form. Go to C2403 to pick up a form and bring this form with you to your appointment. This form is not required for 17 and 18 year old students. Hey, you're not wearing green. Hey, what are you doing? It's not even St. Patrick's Day yet. Well, when is it? Well, BHS TV's Camille Looney is here to tell us that and more. Since St. Patrick's Day is coming up, I thought I'd give some insight on this very green holiday. The history of St. Patrick's Day dates back to none other than St. Patrick. St. Patrick was born in Britain and at the age of 16 was taken to Ireland as a slave. He escaped but returned to spread Christianity to Ireland. He apparently used the shamrock to explain the Holy Trinity. As with many saints, there are many legends surrounding him. According to one such legend, he drove all snakes out of Ireland. After his death, there were many religious services in Ireland in the 9th or 10th century to celebrate the patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick. 
St. Patrick's Day first became a major secular holiday when Irish immigrants came specifically to the U.S. and brought their traditions to heavily populated cities where they spread their like wildfire. To me, it looked like a leprechaun to me. I gotta do look up in the tree. Who else seen the leprechaun say yeah? yeah? Leprechauns first appeared in folklore around the 8th century, starting out in Celtic tales of little tiny itty bitty cave dwelling little bitty guys and gals. Despite their heavy association with green, they were first depicted wearing red. Due to popularity of the color green throughout Ireland, red eventually became green. Now we all know a little bit more about St. Patrick's Day. Camille Looney, VHS TV. Oh, green. Yeah. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Emma, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys, we're making the full transition into spring sports as we have wrapped up our winter sports season. Let's look ahead at the upcoming events for our spring athletic teams. The softball team has a scrimmage against Carmel coming up tonight, March 13th. Then the regular season will begin when they travel to Eastern Hancock on Tuesday, March 19th. The baseball team will host Terre Haute South for a scrimmage on March 20th and will travel to Lawrence North for their season opener on April 2nd. The boys golf, girls tennis, and unified track and field teams will all get started in April. Good luck to all of our teams as they prep for competition. The boys club volleyball team was in action last night in their first game of the season as they hosted Hamilton Southeastern. The dogs fought hard but fell to the Royals three games to zero. Demetria Crudup led the team on the attacking front as he finished with six kills and had a 570 hitting percentage. Connor Duke was the assist leader in the match and Owen Ellis led in passing and digs. The JV fell to HSC as well, two games to zero. Their next match will be tomorrow, Thursday, at Franklin Central. Good luck. Speaking of the Brownsburg boys volleyball team, they'll be hosting a dine to donate at Buffalo Wild Wings in Brownsburg on Wednesday, March 20th. Up to 25% of proceeds will go to towards Brownsburg Boys Volleyball on the day. Be sure to visit B-Dubs next Wednesday from 11 a.m. to midnight. Best of luck to the boys lacrosse team as they travel to Center Grove tonight. We'll keep you up to date of all of our teams as they get going in the upcoming weeks. That's it for Sports Today. Back over to you. Thanks, Emma. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a recap from last night's orchestra concert here at BHS. We hope you have a great day, and we'll see you on Friday.